of all the Avengers with my cousins. The first one, Bad Orlando, is definitely the best one. Chapter 1. Family is everything. So me, my mom, and my dad, and I walk through the door. And so everyone is greeting each other. A few hours later, I say, so since we're like best friends or something, and we're cousins, and we're probably going to have a lot of adventures together, Enzo cuts me off and says, let's make a team. And I said, a team? What should we call it? And both of us say at the same time, Slay Nation. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I say, should we make a member's book? Enzo replies and says, what? And I say, a book with all the members in it. And he said, good idea. And I said, but how and what will we use to make it with? And he said, I've got some school supplies for when I'm going to go to kindergarten. And so we get all the supplies that we need and make the Book of Slay Nation. Chapter 1, Start of a War. Declan, Enzo, and Chloe versus Tragic and two of his minions. But Declan and Enzo and Chloe went again, went against them. And Tragic and two of his minions, and one of them being Sam losing. And so marked the beginning of Battle Orlando. Chapter 3, Past Tense. Declan, Enzo, and Chloe enjoying their time at the Italian restaurant Goombas as their grandfather, Pop Pop, is singing on stage with his group, which was awesome, by the way. Had some great times there. Chapter 4 From the Future. Boom. Declan and Enzo from the future. Declan and Enzo from the future says, I can't believe we time traveled. Future Enzo says, I know, right? This is the best thing we've done yet. So Declan and Enzo from the future opened the doors and there were three security guards. Declan and Enzo feature run right past them and then proceed to walk up the stairs and go over to a costume rack. Me from the future says, here, wear this. Feature Enzo says, okay, sure thing, but smart. Declan and Enzo from the future says, let's do this. Three, two, one, happy new year, 2012. So Declan, Enzo, and Chloe are having an amazing time in the stadium and at the 2012 New Year party. And then Declan and Enzo from the future swing across the stadium and defeat two of tragic minions, but one of them gets away. Declan and Enzo from the future run up to the roof and put the minion and but the minion gets away on his jetpack and tries to fly away. Declan and Enzo hear the huge what happening on the roof so they go up there and see their future selves fight one of tragic's minions Declan and Enzo say what the that minion starts flying away but Declan from the future jumps off the roof and grabs onto the minion's foot but the minion takes off his jetpack and glides across the sky like a flying squirrel and gets away. Declan from the future jumps off the jetpack and almost dies, but Enzo from the future knew he wasn't gonna die. So he jumps off the stadium, grabs Declan from grab Declan's future hand, and then Declan and Enzo race over. Then Declan jumps off the stadium, grabs the future Enzo's foot. And Enzo holds on to the stadium, grabs Declan's foot, and all of them were safe. So they go back to the top of the stadium and start talking. The jetpack falls to the ground and makes a huge explosion, bigger than the stadium. And the police and SWAT teams arrive.
Is that us? Both Declan and Enzo say. Feature us says, well, we are you guys, but we're from the future. And then we say, wait, we can time travel? Feature us says, yeah, eventually you will be able to. Also, we're from 2018. Just so you know. Let's, Enzo says, let's go to my house. Both Declan and Enzo says, here we are. We say, what the, Feature House says, haha, sorry, just a, just a little weird, because we remember all this. We say, wow, that's funny. That's something that would happen in, like, a time travel movie. Us from the Feature says, wow, you're right. And so they go into Enzo's house, and then they all talk about how amazing this is and how nostalgic and emotional it is coming back and reliving this. Good times. And then, us from the future go back. Chapter 5, Hard Rock. Declan, Enzo, and Colby have an amazing adventure, going through one of the most adventurous times ever, and enjoying their break after what happened at the 2012 New Year, and spending amazing time with their family. Chapter 6, Grandma's House. I say, hi Enzo, he said. Hi Declan, so good to see you, and I said, you too, Enzo. So Declan and Enzo go into the dining area and start talking when out of nowhere the Slay Nation alarm goes off on Declan's 3DS alert. Tragic is upstairs. Wait, we don't even have our gear or anything. So as Declan and Enzo are panicking and don't know what to do, meanwhile Tragic gets out his sword. Someone knocks on the door. Enzo opens the door, and Chloe walks in. Yep, we don't have any weapons or anything, and it's not like we're gonna use our fists or hands. He could kill us, I said. So they all look for weapons. Go in my closet. There should be a crystal the size of your hand, and put it on the stand that says order, says Pop-Pop. Okay. Okay said me. So they walk into his closet. So Declan, Enzo, and Chloe go into Pop-Up's closet and picks up the crystal and puts it on the stand. Okay, what now? said me. I think it's broken somehow. Enzo said. Possibly, Chloe said. Well, are you sure it's broken? Because we did everything that Pop-Up told us to do. Chapter 7, Powers, slash Order. Boom, the crystal sends out an electric shockwave, hitting Slay Nation, setting lightning coursing through their bodies, and gives them powers. Chloe runs off in super speed, because she can't control it. But Declan and Enzo are ready to fight Tragic. Declan and Enzo versus Tragic was a huge fight, but Tragic runs out the backyard. Declan and Enzo follow them, but Tragic eventually loses. Chapter 8, Mind Control. Oh no, Declan is being mind controlled by Tragic, said Enzo. It really just pauses. It was a guess. Enzo said, it when he says, well, holy crap, that was a wild guess for a four-year-old. Declan tackled Enzo into the pool, and they fight while in the pool, but Declan's iPod is in his pocket, so rip that, I guess. But the water caused Declan not to be mind-controlled anymore, which is an actual thing that happened. Not the mind-control pod, but I did tackle him in a pool, and it was fun. <laughs> Chapter 9, Family Meetup slash Order. Slay Nation and the rest of the family wearing dresses and tuxedos in a pretty nice place. 
with family having an amazing time, which was pretty cool, and it was a wedding, actually, um, and, uh, it was, it was pretty cool, it was fun. Chapter 10, Sanctuary Ridge Golf Club. A place that me and my family used to go to, which was true, had a lot of important Nation stuff happen there, and it'd be really cool if we went back there. house someone knocks on the door Declan's uncle Steve walks up the door walks up to the door and opens it and it's Declan and his parents they all say their highs and hollows beep 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 Declan and Enzo checks the alarm holy shit tragic is here says Declan let's get our seats on Declan and Enzo run over to their suits but tragic stops them in their tracks um, what do we do now, says Declan and Enzo, looking at each other confused. You're not getting anything, for I will kill you before you do, Tragic says. Come over here, says Pop-Up. Okay, says Declan and Enzo at the same time. So Declan and Enzo run over to Enzo's room and find something incredible. New suits! Yep. Uh, where's Chloe? Asked Enzo and Declan. Pop-Up says, Fighting three of Tragic's minions. And he said, But what's she fighting with? We saw her old suit in the playroom, and her new suit is right in front of us. I gave her a prototype, says Pop-Up. So, Declan and Enzo put on their new suit. A few minutes later, let's fight. Pop-up, activate our powers, says Declan. Okay, Tragic and Enzo fought their hearts out, but Tragic lost again. Looks like Tragic needs to step up before he loses Battle Orlando itself. Chapter 13, Mission Critical. This chapter is very short, but dedicated to all the times in Battle Orlando that Declan, Enzo, and Chloe snuck around Grandma's house at night or restaurants or whatever under the tables. Basically fun spy shit, I guess you can say, but more of all, I guess every cousin with their cousin has done something fun like that, and uh, is stored in our memories forever. So, pretty fun. Chapter 14. Declan and Enzo at Aunt Marlena's house. They were 4th of July, and sneaking and running around these white, these white tents that were set up around the yard, which were pretty fun. I don't know what they were there for, but I do know for a fact that me and my cousins were just going insane and running around it, and it was just, it was fun. Chapter 15. Declan and Enzo at their older cousin's Brianna's birthday party at Halloween. And a bunch of other family events. So yeah. I was literally, uh, I dressed up as a Oompa Loompa. It was actually, it was really fun. Had a great time, you know, hanging out with family at that huge party. <sighs> it was really fun. Anyways. Chapter 15. All the dancing shows and Enzo and I put on, and all the events and house events. Basically, just all the stuff in, in general, like, times I went to Enzo's and you know, performed and stupid stuff like that. That's just really fun. It was chapter 15, stage slash shows. All the Dr. Phillips Elementary Adventures and shows. And underwater parks shows. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's really hard. All right. Chapter 16, Kingdom. Declan, Enzo, and Chloe went to the Animal Kingdom where Avatar is in Disney. All right. That was quick. Chapter 17, Uphill. 
Deck on Enzo and Chloe still at Disney went to a restaurant up there on a hill, I guess. Chapter 18. Declan, Enzo, and Chloe went on an amazing adventure in the vent in the hotel. What the hell? Chapter 19. Mario. Declan, Enzo, Nick, and Brianna playing new Super Mario Bros. on the Wii. That was pretty fun. We were at um, Uncle Mike's house. Okay. Chapter 20. The Maze. Declan in first grade went to the library but eventually got lost trying to come back going in a maze for like 40 minutes and keep in mind it was before they rebuilt the school which was a year after anyways after all that time staff and teachers went nuts looking for me but eventually found me also, later at recess, I got into a fight and won, which is, which is true. It was strange, but it was true. Chapter 21. Birthday trouble. So, my school does this thing where if it's your birthday, they, like, in the summer, then they'll celebrate it before the summer starts. So, for the whole school day... We celebrated my birthday, but in the middle of it, we decided to go to the school playground. But, well, when we got there, there was a storm, and it was really bad. Everything blew over, and it was raining. There was thunder and lightning. The wind was so strong, it almost blew the whole class over, and that's a true fact. Considering we were in first grade... You know, all pretty light, so it was a pretty heavy storm, so I guess I could do that. Chapter 22, Fight at Enzo's Part 2. I went to Enzo's house again, except one of Tragic's minions. Sam went after us this time, and with guns, apparently. And Enzo and I were behind a chair shooting at him, but in the end, we won against Sam. Chapter 23, Invisible. Enzo and I were playing an awesome game where he was invisible and I wasn't. And we played it every time I came over. And it was, you know, it was really fun. It was on the Wii. And um, I'm, I feel like we should play that again, you know, just for old time's sake. You know, just have a great time. It was, it was, I miss that, honestly. Chapter 24, Final Battle. Okay. Tragic's going to be here in about 10 minutes. What's the plan? I said. Enzo says, When he gets here with all of his minions, then you go out, get the Slay Nation Crystal, come back, and then we all can defeat him. And then I said, Just like that. Chloe said, Yeah. Just like that. Okay. But let's get new suits for the battle. So we go ahead and get our new suits on. And so they walk over to Papa. He says, let me guess, you guys need new suits? And we all said, yeah, we do. And he said, yeah, well, I know the last battle was going to happen. So I made brand new suits just for this occasion. So they put on their new Slay Nation suits and get ready. Good luck, Pop-Up says. Tragic arrives with over a hundred deadly mi minions. They all start running at each other. Oh yeah, by the way, this is um this is in uh, Grandma's backyard. For those of you who've been in that house, yes, this is in Grandma's old backyard before you she moved. Running at each other. They start running at each other and they fight. And there was destruction everywhere. Declan grabs the other crystal and puts the crystal on his chest. Energy and lightning and power start flowing through his whole body. Then the super speed really fast and takes insanely fast and just 
takes off and takes out all the minions except for six of them. They ran away, but then Declan takes the crystal off him, leaving a burn mark into Declan's suit. Then Declan throws the crystal to Enzo and Chloe as he is blasting lightning into Tragic, damaging him. Then Enzo and Chloe get their powers, and they all put on their energy to Tragic, forming a circle of energy around Tragic, disintegrating him, and winning Battle Orlando. Chapter 25, End. Declan, Enzo, and Chloe sign the papers to end the Battle of Orlando. Declan, Enzo, and Chloe celebrate their victory by going out to dinner with family. The end. No. Slay Nation 1 was the best nostalgic and amazing, and it started a legacy that is truly the best, and I won't forget it for the rest of my life. Slay Nation will return. Yes, and it's true, honestly, though. Slay Nation 1, Enzo and Chloe can agree. Same for Pop Pop. It was just it was amazing. It was like one of the best years ever. You know, four years after that quite journey, it just, I don't know, that team really went somewhere. And it was, it was really cool.